Hello everybody, it's me, Andy, and we are back with another bullet journaling video. Today we are planning for February of 2019, and a lot of you suggested like an ocean underwater theme, and I somehow ended up with more of like a pirate shipwreck type of deal, but I think it's really cool, so let's get into it. I do make stickers that coincide with the monthly bullet journaling videos, so you can buy these on itsmeandy.com. And also, we are very, very close to 50K, and I will be doing a big 50K giveaway. So if you're not subscribed already, please do. And let's uh, stop talking about it now. Let's move on. <laughs> So I'm gonna start by lettering Hello February at the top, and then I'm gonna start drawing this captain's wheel. And I tend to prefer spreads that look a little bit more bold and masculine, and I tend to favor a lot of black. So a lot of the things I'm drawing in this spread, I'm almost drawing in like a negative. I'm drawing the big shape totally filled in in black first, and then using a white pen to go in and accentuate only the highlights. So yeah, for me, that's a look that I just really like as opposed to like thin outlines. I kind of like a bold, filled in, very heavy, dark uh, thing. You get it. And as usual, everything I'm using will be linked below, but if you're curious for this spread, I'm pretty much only using my pack of Faber-Castell pens, a white Posca paint pen, and I think that's really it. After we're done drawing the captain's wheel, we're gonna wanna draw a circle around the Yep, the captain's wheel. <laughs> and I would highly suggest using a compass if you have one because doing this whole string business was very frustrating. But if you don't have a compass um, and you don't have anything to trace, you can just tie a piece of string to a pencil and something else and use the something else <laughs> as your center point and then drag the pencil all the way around. I'm not explaining it super well, but I'm sure you can see in the video and it totally works, just takes a little bit of patience. So once we have the circle drawn, we're just gonna go around and write the days of the month all the way around. And this is what I'm using to mark my important dates for the month. And then on the right side of the page, I don't know why I sounded so excited about that, but on the right side of the page, I'm going to draw out a rectangle with my pencil. And then I'm gonna take my pen and make kind of a damaged old wrinkly paper uh, looking type of thing. <laughs> so I'm basically just freehanding all the way around and every couple of centimeters making a little crack or rip in the paper. And I just do that all the way around and it looks how it looks. And then I'm gonna write to-do list on the bottom. And these two pages are kind of meant to be my whole month at a glance. So important dates on the left and important goals and tasks on the right. So I am gonna put a little calendar up in the top. And I guess I am using one thing that's not black pens. I'm using a gray dual-ended Tombow brush pen uh, to just add a little color to that calendar. And then I'm gonna draw this little message in a bottle. And now that the bottle is complete, we can move on to the next spread. Okay, and help me out. I never know, does the spread refer to like this whole, is this whole video one spread or is each, are, are these two pages one spread? Let me know what you think. So I'm drawing this rope tied in a knot down the left side of the page. And I actually think the sticker version of these that I drew on my iPad look a lot better than the one I'm drawing here. It's usually about the same, but for some reason I feel like these just look a lot better at stickers. But maybe if you try it uh, a different way, it'll look better or I don't know, maybe it's fine how it is. Let me know what you think about that as well. <laughs> so um, anyway, this spread, I guess this is my feeling stuck page and Basically, I'm filling it with things that I know make me feel better, but sometimes I forget to do, um, like reading, making a cup of hot tea, going outside and going for a walk. And every time I get in a place where I'm feeling stuck or unmotivated, I'm gonna try and shift gears and do one of these things. And I'm just gonna keep tally, um, just put little tally marks every time I do one over the month so I can keep track of the ones that I seem to be leaning towards most. 
And then on the right side of this page, I am making a spot for my monthly memories and I'm bringing back a little music spot. I don't always use this, but I have really gotten into classical music lately and I feel like I hated it as a kid and maybe that's because I took piano lessons so I was like forced to listen to classical music. But recently, you guys, I have been into it. So I added a little music thing and I'll write down some of my favorite songs from this month. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited about it. And then the last thing for this page is to draw another little bottle and this one is gonna have a little fish in it. Now we can move into my weekly spread and I'm gonna start by just mapping out the days of the week and I feel like last month my daily boxes were not quite big enough so I'm going with a little bit bigger box this time and then I didn't feel like drawing a rope again so I am gonna use the sticker version of the rope on the right side of the page and one thing I thought of that I didn't do in my December spread which is this weekly spread is very similar to the one I did in December um, is I printed the stickers in reverse of one another so you can use one on the front of the page and one on the back of the page and then cut it out and they'll match up and hopefully that makes sense uh i'll yeah you you guys are so smart you got it <laughs> so like i said i just laid down two of those stickers that are reverse images of one another and cut it out on the right side to create kind of this extra space in the back and i'm using that because sometimes my notes can get really messy and i don't like when that interferes with uh, the look of my bullet journal. So I like to hide my messy notes kind of under a back secret little space. And that is how I do that. And then on the right hand side, I'm going to do a calendar. I'm going to use the Tombow pen again to highlight what week it is just so I can keep it straight in my head. And then the last thing to do is draw this little bottle of poison on the bottom. And that is pretty much it. And I forgot to do a flip through of January at the beginning, so I'm gonna do it right now. But tell me if you guys like super prefer one or the other, beginning or the end for the last month's flip through. Um, but yeah, January has been going really well so far. I feel like I'm actually using it in a way that I was not great at last year. So that is really exciting. And then as far as this month goes, I'm really excited. I was really sick for a bit, so I didn't get to spend as much time designing as I would have liked. And then I also had this whole other design like finished. I made the stickers and um, I don't know, just last minute something told me to uh, do something else. So. So this is that something else and I'm really glad I did. I feel like I wasn't really excited about doing an ocean theme and then it all just kind of came together in this really cool way that feels, um, yeah, it feels like me. So I hope you guys like it as much as I do. Um, I love you guys as always. I'm having so much fun doing this. I'm sorry that I've been sick. I will upload the videos that I have been telling you are coming. Those will be here soon and I think that's it. I'll see you next time.